perfect weather conditions for that today. It takes a little bit of adjustment, yes. I think, to get around some it's other so people true. right now. But it's so, so nice. Outside, you feel a little bit safer, right? right? And you've got that beautiful weather that's been just sitting with us over the last couple of days. We've been dry and fairly comfortable near seasonable conditions again for you today. Just a touch below normal for some. And 69 in Tobaccoville. You can see our maximum highs from some of our weather watchers. And Tom Talbert out in uh, Hamptonville, or Tobaccoville rather, at 69. And Tom Talbert in Hamptonville at 71. Mount Airy, Rick Haynes at 71 and James George in Sheffield also very comfortable in the low 70s. We're now at 60 in Winston-Salem. We are cooler at 59 in North Wilkesboro and we take a look at 51 in Reidsville. Some of our cool spots here where the winds have also dropped in 54 in Burlington. So where we've had the winds stay up just a little bit has helped to mix things out and keeping you mild. Scattered showers. They're trying to build. We've got a little wave of energy in the mid levels and that's going to ride in around a ridge that's also a lot. It's not going to do a whole lot with rainfall totals on the ground though. We think it could be overcast at times, especially early. Some light scattered stray showers, a possibility, but then another round late afternoon, early evening may be with us just before dinner time. I don't think it's going to be a washout. It could just be the nuisance kind of light passing rain that you see. You might need a quick light rain jacket. Otherwise, the foothills, your rain chances are going to be better earlier, and then you're going to see some cloud thinning. I'm taking up to 71. That may not be warm enough, so I'm a little concerned that we could see some warmer temperatures if we get a bit more sunshine in late day. 51 in the mountains near 66, and even there, your early morning chances are better than they will be in the afternoon and we drop off rain chances for early evening, but you could see some cloud thinning also, and that means more sunshine could warm you up. Weather impact though for you develops as we head into Sunday. After Saturday brings in the spotty showers and a little bit of sunshine, we have sunshine early part of the day on Sunday across most of the region, even in the mountains, and then thunderstorms are going to develop late. Those thunderstorms not looking severe at this point, but a good line of them ahead of the cold front as in rainfall totals anywhere from a tenth to a half an inch. Some folks might get those one inch totals. Here's how it's looking for your hour by hour forecast. We take you throughout early morning. Some light showers our front that is warm moving south and east just kind of hangs out with us for a couple of hours. Then it'll lift north as we go through the afternoon. It allows temperatures to warm and we see those scattered showers off and on around the northern Piedmont Eastern Triad. It just doesn't look positive to see good soaking rains on the ground. And that means most of your activity should be no problem out there tomorrow. But you will have some clouds mixing in and out overnight into early morning Sunday. We're back into the 50s. You'll get some good sunshine mixed with some clouds at times. Notice temperatures already in the 70s by 11 a.m. And those thunderstorms are going to start to fire up by late afternoon around 1, 2 o'clock. We might begin to see a few in the mountains. We see temperatures in the 80s out ahead of this and between 4 and 7 o'clock. Those th thunderstorms become more numerous as we head to the east in the triad. So looking good to see at least some scattered showers by then have some impact for the rainfall totals. Your five day for seven day forecast rather at 85 degrees on Monday, hot and steamy into middle of next week with afternoon storm chances. We'll be back with more.